What's up, everybody? This is Dominic here to um, talk about today's General Hospital episode. Um, for what I'm, my understanding is, this might be the last episode of 2012. If it is, it's been a great year. 2012 has been a great year for GH. A lot of big time returns, but if it's not, if I do see you guys, because I know Monday is New Year's Eve, so I don't know if they're going to show a new episode on Monday, but anyway, let's get into, today, and get into today's episode. When I tell you guys I'm like so over this whole Kate, Connie, Johnny, Star, oh, I'm I'm getting kind of sick of all this. I mean, I'm ready for that storyline to just wrap up, ready for the truth to be told. Anyway, when um, but one thing I did like about that those scenes today when Johnny knocked Star, well not Johnny, Connie knocked Star on her ass. That kind of had me rolling today. It's like she just threw her and bam, she hit up, she hit her head on the damn desk. And Star was knocked out for like, uh, like I guess like a couple of hours. Anyway, like a couple of minutes or whatnot. Star was like knocked completely out. And also, I also want to know this: How the hell did Kate, Connie, whatever she's going by, how the hell did she even get Johnny? How did she get fit Johnny in that damn, um, how did she fit him in that recycling bin? And how the hell did he, she get him in her car? Um, it, 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 you know, it didn't like she was like really out of breath when all that went down. But anyway, um, you know, it was really, it was really funny. Um, it was actually kind of funny when um, she, um, Connie like ran in. She ran into um, when she ran into um, what's her name? Um, Lucy, who um, her and AJ and Tracy scenes were actually, in my opinion, the best thing about today's episode. Um, Tracy and um, Tracy and AJ basically fighting over um, Lucy's um assets for ELQ, her one percent. Anyway, and also a little shallow. This is a little shallow of me to say this, but um, Lucy Cole looks great. She looks amazing. Um, anyway, the I I, I live for those things today. Um, but when Connie ran into her, they were, it was kind of awkward in a way. But she was basically like, "Aren't you Kate Howard?" I, I ran into I ran into you in the past. You look just like Kate Howard. And anyway, and Connie basically denied it and said no. I, but I get that a lot. Um, anyway, I, like I said, I'm over those scenes. For what I'm hearing, most of that's gonna wrap up. And when she ran in a tree and Christina, I I wasn't really here for that either. Um, I really wish Christina really was going to um L.A. with Trey. But I, from what I know, from what I've been hearing and what I've been gathering, that's not gonna happen. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Um, something's gonna come up next week. That's gonna not cause that not to happen. So anyway, um, if you guys wanna know what happens, I say go read, go on um, soapcentral.com. Their spoilers are mostly correct, most likely no, normally correct. I just say go on there and you'll find out what's gonna happen. But anyway, um, but don't, the best thing about the whole the scenes between Christina, Trey, Michael, Alexis, and Sonny was were was basically Sonny's reaction to all this. And I understand why Sonny doesn't want didn't want doesn't want Christina to go because he he basically was like this whole, this year I lost Jason, I lost Kate, and he said he lost something else too. Um well I think he lost Jason and Kate. And he thought he lost Michael. But Michael's like neutral between him and AJ, he's like neutral. Anyway, um, so Sonny's had a lot. Sonny's really like had a terror has had a terrible year in 2012, and he said he doesn't want to lose his daughter on top of all that. So, well, like I said, I understand where Sonny's coming from, but hell, Sonny, let her go. Even though I know she's not gonna go, I just say, Sonny, let her go. But anyway, um, what else did I want to talk? And also, mess I'm really over. I'm over that whole. This old Sabrina, Sabrina, Britt, with Dr. Westbourne and Patrick thing. I just wish Robin would come back, even though I know Robin's probably not going to come back anytime soon. Because I think Kimberly McCullough is like done shooting. But anyway, um, she's done with GH for right now. But anyway, um, cause I, I'm sick of these thirsty women going after Patrick. I mean, why can't they find, why can't Dr. Westbourne try to get with Milo or somebody like that? Or hell, even Max. Max ain't with Diane no more. But anyway, um, I'm kind of getting sick of those, getting sick of that storyline. I mean, I'm not really here for it. 
Um, the acting's decent. The acting's pretty decent, and I will say that. But I mean, if they if they gave the, those characters more to do, I don't know if they doing this whole thing with a nurse's ball with um Sabrina, but I mean, give her something else to do besides worrying about the nurse's ball and trying to and also give Brit something else to do besides being thirsty for Patrick. That's her only motive. She's like really thirsty for Patrick, and I hate thirsty ass women. But anyway, um, like I said, the acting is great, been great, and anything that Jason Jason um Thompson's been doing in um GH this whole year has been great. I I personally myself nominate him for the Emmy for best supporting actor. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him take that home this year. But anyway, um, but yeah, today's if I had to give today's episode a score, it's been and no car. Carly Todd and Sam, I'm gonna talk about that. When I was Team Sam today, Sam read the shit out of Carly. She opened Carly up and read her like a book. She basically tried to tell her about everything Todd's done, and she called for one, Carly don't want to hear it. Because Carly just needs a man. She didn't want to hear it. And she was basically like calling Todd a Jason replacement. And we all know Todd's a Jason replacement in Carly's life. But anyway, um. And I do, I do know eventually Todd and Carly sometime next week are going to, like, hit the sheets. They're going to hit the sheets sometime next week. But anyway, um, like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a big Todd and Carly fan. But anyway, um, but I just love, love how Sam was basically just reading her like a book. Telling, calling Carly out and basically saying, that's not what J- J- Jason would have wanted, um, Jason wouldn't have wanted you basically. Probably, basically I seen, from what I got gathered, she was like, Jason wouldn't want you being with the um. She won't. He won't want you being with the person that took our baby. I mean, anyway, um. But anyway, um. Let me know what you guys think about today's episode. Leave me a comment below. Um, I think today's episode was the last episode of 2012. If we do have an episode on Monday, I'll have a video out. But anyway, um. Anyway, this is um Dominic checking out. Peace. God bless. And I know my best and worst of soaps video will be out on New Year's Eve. I will have that video up, up on Monday. I've already got it recorded. It's a pretty long video, but I got to edit some stuff out. And I will have that video up on Monday. Anyway, this is Dominic Chicken out. Peace. God bless. And I'm out.